welcome back to prestigious prep by paris i am paris thank you so much for being here if you are new welcome okay over here at prestigious prep by paris we desire to excel in all areas of our lives we do not care what that is we leave no stone unturned so family career relationships coins spirituality skin honey body everything nothing is off limits over here we understand that we're not a perfect people don't worry about that no perfect people over here on this side but we do make sure that when we wake up every day that god puts breath in our body that we are really making steps in the right direction to really try to reach our goals so if you want to be a part of that go ahead and make sure you subscribe the bell is down below please make sure that you hit subscribe and when you hit the bell make sure you change your settings to say all so that you can be notified every time i upload because we don't want any foolishness so that you don't miss any of the content okay so go ahead I'll wait hopefully you're done hopefully you're done and you are subscribed welcome to the family if you are returning me over the prep squad that means you are already supporting me and I appreciate that but please if you have not liked commented or shared these videos that i am sharing with you please make sure that you do so y'all go ahead and share it with a fan a friend family member or a foe y'all know i don't care a share is a share period the metrics <laughs> that's what i care about <laughs> anyway so uh in today's video i just want to talk about a study tribe so if you don't know what a study tribe is just really quickly Basically, it is a group of individuals that support you in your reign to get your degree, okay? Your whatever that degree might be. Your nursing degree, your doctorate, your PhD, your whatever, right? Whatever that is, I want to talk to you about having a study tribe because it doesn't matter what the uh, area is that you're studying, you still need a study tribe and that's just it. Um, so basically, again, it's a group of individuals that support you. So people that help go through the study guides with you, people that quiz you, people that watch your kids while you can study, people that will come over and work with you and help you work through it, your mentors, all of these people are a part of what I consider to be a study tribe. Um, why do you need a study tribe? Well, first of all, you can't do it all by yourself. I understand that you hear that all the time. I got this, I don't need no help. I, I got this. Um, Listen. I'm here to tell you I have two degrees, okay? I have a bachelor's and a master's and you need people, period. Don't don't get crazy and think that you can just be out here with no support and you gonna be all right. That's not really how that works. At some point, you are going to need some help from someone and there is absolutely nothing wrong with that. Get your help. Get your help. Nobody cares what nobody else is thinking or saying. Get the resources that you need so that you can do what you need to do for you. Okay? Period. Okay? So get you a study tribe. It could be people from school. Sometimes the people from school understand better what you need because you guys are going through this together. So it might be that, you know, they're good resources. But at the end of the day, you have to go home. So you're not going to be, you know, eating dinner with these people, waking up with these people, that kinds of things, having family gatherings with these people in most, case, in most cases. So you're going to need people from your inner circle to help you out. So if that means your husband or your wife, you might need them to cook dinner that night. This night is my study night or, you know, this night is the night that I get everything ready for the week to prepare for the class or the certification or the job, whatever that might be. Maybe you're testing for certification at work, you're gonna have to say, all right, I need help with this. If it's I already prepared the study guide and I need you to just go through and say, what is X, Y, and Z? Or give me the definition and I tell you exactly what you what it is that you're actually defining. Whatever that looks like. Listen, y'all, I took study guides to the movies and had my man quiz me, you better ask. I didn't play no games, okay? I went to work every day and at lunch i did my homework like i didn't play any games because i wanted to get it over with and i understood that if i went ahead got my food sat down and did my homework at work when i got home i had more time to be with my family and do all the other things that i you know 
I'm required to do as a mom, as a wife, you know? Okay? When I got my bachelor's degree, I didn't have any kids, but I still needed help. My man had to go through that study guide and do just what I said. He had to read the study guide, and I had to say, this is the answer to that, this is the answer to that. He had to quiz me forwards, backwards, frontwards. We went to the movies, I took my study guide. It was in my purse. And during the previews, guess what I was doing? Okay, in conversation. Can you quiz me real quick? We got we got 10 minutes before the movie starts. You might be laughing, but I'm serious. Like sometimes you just you just gotta do what you gotta do, right? I understood that I needed to be present, you know, because we're hanging out and we need to spend time. But at the same time, I also knew that I had a quiz coming up or a test and I wanted to make sure that every moment that I could like squeeze out, I was preparing. It's the name of the game. So if you're in a situation where your mate is not helping you with a study guide, at least ask for help with kids, okay? If you don't have any kids, ask them to help read over the information. Ask them to hold the study guide while you recite what's on the study guide. They don't have to know exactly what the content is exactly as long as you are saying what's on that paper or something close, a paraphrasization. <laughs> Yes, I completely <laughs> made that up. Whatever. It's what I do. Anyway, listen. Have them do it. If it's flashcards that has to be, to be created, if it's going to get the flashcards for you, if it's highlighting specific things on the flashcard for you or them only reading the highlighted portions, y'all figure it out. Okay? If it means putting the kids to bed or just getting the baths done so that you only have to do the laundry or whatever that is, figure out a system that works that supports what is being done. At the end of the day, when you get that degree or you get that certification, your entire household wins, okay? Everybody coming in contact with you wins because they get to be around someone working to elevate. So whether that means that you're just motivating them, whether that means financially they benefit, whatever that means because they're part of your family or extended family, everybody benefits. You gotta open up your mouth and make sure that you let people know what you need, especially in times like this. So a study guide is gonna be particularly important. My mom, if you know, when I got my uh, master's degree, she watched my children for me. You know, she gave me breaks, and you know, like they, everybody was helpful in my inner circle. If I asked, and then a lot of times I didn't ask, they stepped in, and I'm so appreciative. And there's no way that I could have any of the degrees and certifications that I have without their support. And I'm just telling you that because I know from experience, you cannot do it all by yourself. Reach out to some people that you feel like you can trust with this information that you are you have to do with your study and all of that and make it happen. Like I told you, best places to study for me, I would study at work like on my lunch break. That's when I study. Or like when I got home, I would try to uh, study after the kids got in the bed. But for me, Y'all, 8 o'clock, I'm tired. I'm sleepy. <laughs> sleepy, like it's too late for me. So, um, I am, well, I need to study during the day. So that's why lunch worked better for me. Obviously, when I got home, I didn't have to do it. Um, I was even in the nail shop. I had the app on my phone in some cases. And while I'm getting the pedicure, I'm looking at my study guide or I'm responding to a discussion post. Or I already did the post on Sunday for, for that week. And all I have to do is respond to a classmate and post my response. Well, I had the app on my phone. I had a Word app on my phone as well. And I copied and pasted my responses in. And then I responded as appropriate to however many people I was supposed to based on what the instructions said. Make it make sense for you. So, no, I didn't miss the nail shop because I was there. And I was doing my homework. <laughs> Period. Um, so whatever that looks like for you, I don't want to make this video too long, but I just want to put a bug in your ear that you're going to have to use the people around you to help get you where you're trying to go. You're pouring into their lives. Why can't they pour into yours? A few minutes. It'll make a world of difference. The stress level will be down a little bit lower. It'll be easier. You know, you guys will be able to communicate better. It'll help with the communication just in general, period. If you're somebody that struggles with asking for help just across the board, or you are somebody who, you know, you don't necessarily um, like asking for help. So basically, you know, you're, you're not just you struggle with it because some people 
are just timid and don't want to ask and other people really do have a hard time asking people for help so wherever you fall on the spectrum put your pride away and get you some assistance get you a study study travel i'm telling you work for me if i ever went back to school which i don't have any plans on by the way but if i did <laughs> I would still make sure that I went ahead and got with the study tribe and we got it figured out. When it comes to like breaking up the study guide, for example, that you're using, just break it up in sections. Make sure it makes sense. Don't go and put the book in the actual study guide for whatever it is that you're studying for. Again, whether it's a certification, whether it's school, just make it make sense. What is the main point of that particular word or that particular um, question? What is the takeaway? That's what you want to write down. And then cite the page numbers that you got it from so then you can go back and reference that if you need to. So anyway, I hope this video was helpful. I want y'all to excel. So go and get you some extra coins, get you the certification, get you, start you a business, you know, whatever. Help your kids start a business, help, you know, your, yourself start a business, your husband, whoever it might be. Go up for that promotion because you can have it if you want it. All of that is going to require that you have some people in your corner. So even if that means it's friends from work, it's friends in your immediate circle, it's your neighbor, whoever you can get together to help donate time for the cause. But make sure if you want to have them watching your kids, they don't, you know. Do some more research, y'all. Don't don't go and let know, know anybody you watch your children and stuff. Or be cooking for your man or no stuff like that. Like, make it make sense. You know what I'm saying? Like, make, make it make sense. But anyway, please make sure that you like, comment, and subscribe. If you haven't already done so, please make sure that you like again. Like, 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 like this video because it helps me. That helps my channel. It also helps me make sure that I can get content to you guys. If you want to follow me on all of my social media platforms, I encourage that you do so. Those links are down below. If you want to shop a bomb beauty supply me and my loved ones on a beauty supply called tresses beauty supply.com that link is also below if you want to support and i hope y'all staying blessed and getting everything that god has for you and until the next time i see y'all bye